As the number of coronavirus cases continues to climb across Kelloland, area businesses are faced with some very difficult decisions as we all navigate a new world with COVID-19. Do you shut your doors, cut your income, and lay off staff? Or if you're an essential business, where do you find workers to fill a temporary need? These are questions Bob Munt has heard repeatedly lately, and as president and CEO of the Sioux Falls Development Foundation, he's here to help us provide some answers to those questions with resources and support for whatever side of the decision you find yourself on. Welcome, Bob. Good morning. It's unfortunate circumstances that we have you joining us here today because businesses are being affected by this, especially our small businesses here in Kelloland. So let's just talk about the, what they're facing right now, the decision of, you know, do I close my doors? Do I stay open but just do delivery options? What are they being faced with right now? Yeah, it's certainly a unique time, something that we've never had to deal with before. Uh, each business has to make their own decision as far as what they want to do, looking at the resources that they have, the capabilities that they have. Do they have the ability to do delivery at home, uh, curbside pickup, those types of things, and really make a decision, is that where they need to be? Um, some of the essential businesses that um, are having to stay open, you know, they're having some issues with finding workers to come in and work in those particular times and things like that. So um, it's a unique situation. Each business has to kind of make their own decision. Now, there are some states that businesses that aren't essential are forced to shut down. Here, they have the choice but are recommended to shut down or just do delivery, things like that. Is there a difference in how that affects the businesses as well as far as maybe getting re-employment assistance and things like that? Yeah, so if, if you're forced to shut down, you know, that's one thing. And, um, you know, we have not been asked to do that yet. And so... I think uh, right now businesses have that choice to remain open or not. I think what they're doing is to create opportunities for their employees basically to uh, transition into different jobs, those types of things, whether they're delivering, um, delivering pizzas, whether they're delivering food, whatever that might be. Um, they're making their own decisions on how they utilize their employees, whether or not they need to lay off employees and those types of things. So, again, it's, it's an individual choice that they have, but as of right now, we still have that choice. Mm -hmm. So if they choose to shut down um, and lay off their employees, uh, they have that option. Some have chosen to do that uh, just because they don't have that transition capability to uh, move to the next level or move to a different level uh, for them to provide their services. So for any of the small businesses that have come to talk to you about everything that's going on, what are the main concerns that they have? Well, I think the main concern is uncertainty. They're not sure how long this is going to last. They're not sure, um, you know, what the next regulation is going to be coming down, either from the mayor or from the governor or whatever. And so um, I think the government's doing a nice job of kind of taking it step by step, giving us some heads up on what's going to might be happening. Um, and they're all taking um, steps to adjust to that. So um, most of the businesses are looking at um, what's the next level. How can, how can our government, how can we help ourselves? So there's some unique programs that I think are coming down, you know, from the state, from the federal government um, that I think will help that process. Okay. So let's talk a little bit now, too, about the resources that you're offering to help essential businesses that are staying open, that are looking for employees for maybe temporary work. Let's just kind of right. go through the different options of what we can do with that. Yeah, so there's really three things that, that we've done uh, in conjunction with our partner, the Chamber of Commerce. Um, we have Opportunity Sioux Falls, which is really a jobs board for people looking for jobs to connect with companies that are, um, you know, available jobs. So there's a website, opportunity.com, to be able to do that. Um, Support Sioux Falls is the Chamber's website that really um, looks at connecting companies, restaurants, those types of things that are open, retailers, uh, with those people that um, are needing um, to have that uh, service um, out there. And so that's another uh, option that people have can go to to look at that. The third one is the CARES Act that uh, the president just signed last Friday. Uh, tomorrow uh, there will be opportunities to apply for the funding available through that. It's a loan program uh, supported by SBA and, and the banks, the local banks here. So um, that is a way the, the payroll protection um, program is, is an opportunity for them to help them continue to employ their people without necessarily having to use that unemployment benefit. So for those individuals that are looking for temporary work right now, if they go on here, is it a pretty easy process to navigate? Do you just need a resume? What are some things that you should have ready for that? Yeah, it's an easy process na to navigate. If you're a company that's looking for workers, you go on there, you, you click on the employment site, 
Um, you uh, put in your information, basically, uh, your company, the types of workers you're looking for, whether it's temporary, whether it's full-time, whatever you're trying to do, put that in there. And if you're someone looking for a position, you can go in there, look at what companies are hiring, look at the positions that they're hiring for, and then contact that company directly, either via phone or via website, um, for those jobs. And how can we, too, as citizens here in Kelowna, still support those small businesses? Because right now, it is more important than ever. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we're all kind of confined to our homes. Um, have them deliver stuff to your house. Uh, come down and pick it up curbside. Look at those companies and those restaurants in particular, those retailers um, that are um, providing their services online. You're able to order from local establishments online. Um, you're able to continue to patronize them uh, either by driving up through the drive through or whatever you need to do with that. Um, and really take a look at, you know, your buying habits. Are you buying online right now, or could you buy locally uh, some of those things to can continue to support uh, our local businesses? Right, and if you don't need anything specific, it's a great time to even just purchase gift cards, things like that to still support. But I know it's so hard to know exactly what's going to happen. This could be a couple months. This could be two weeks, like you were saying earlier. But if this were to go on for a few months, how is this going to impact our small businesses? Well, certainly every month or every week that a small business is closed is revenue that they're not bringing in. So long-term wise, um, you could see a, a relatively severe downturn in some of those small business opportunities. Um, I think uh, the federal government, I think the state is doing as much as they can, you know, to help that process along those small businesses, to help them continue to stay open. I think we're going to see a lot of creativity in the, how those services are provided a lot more stuff online, a lot mm -hmm. more deliveries, those types of things that are happening. So um, I think we're a, a very resilient community. We're a resilient country. Um, and I think we're going to make the changes that it takes to keep those companies in business. Now, will there be some that, that uh, don't come back after this? Probably. Uh, but I think there'll be a lot of them that will, and I think we'll be better for it. Yeah. And we're hoping that that's not the case, and we're keeping all of them in our prayers, and we're hoping that this ends soon. So thank you so much, we Bob, are. for coming in today and telling us all about this. Thank you so much for having me. The Sioux Falls Development Foundation has put links to many resources for employer, employers and employees through their website opportunity, sf.com. Area businesses and organizations can go to the site and input their jobs. Job seekers can go to the site to find temporary or part-time jobs from businesses who are currently looking for the extra help. You also find quick access links to local temporary staffing agencies, additional job listing sites, child care help via the Helpline Center, and information on applying for reemployment assistance. To get updates on the latest business developments related to COVID-19, check out their sister site support, SiouxFalls.biz.